All right, so today we find ourselves exploring uh, these this plaza in Marietta. Uh, and uh, right now we are standing right outside this famous place called uh, Marshalls. It is, uh, I'd say like from in Canada, I think it is very similar to Winners. And also right there we've got Coles along with the Sephora. So we will check out both these places. So, so I'm just taking a, a break from all the walking that I've done here in uh, Atlanta. Now I'll tell you an observation. This is what I've observed. What I've observed is that there's not one person who's walking. I don't see anybody walking. Neither do I see anybody uh, crossing the streets, crossing the road at the traffic light. Neither do I see anybody in the parking lot of this Wendy's. I will show it to you. Uh, there's nobody there's nobody still they are all moving you know even I'll show you the drive through in a bit take a second let me show you the drive through so you see right right in front of us there's Wendy's Wendy's burgers so here you see this parking lot here so this parking lot it's empty there's nobody uh, in the parking lot quite time waste like there's nobody killing time do you know what I mean they are they ordering their food and leaving going wherever they have to go so i, I the, the americans they are busy you know they don't have time to uh, just stand and stare or just have a conversation that is uh, not uh, progressive I, I personally i feel like the americans are way more progressive is because of their attitude there's nobody who is uh, wasting time i don't see anybody waste time here just to the point and also, uh, people here, they are uh, very, yeah, they, they sometimes, the Americans, the way they talk to you, it feels like uh, as if we are losing their time. Do you know what I mean? Like, there are a few times that I noticed, even during my journey, and even like a few people that I've spoken to here in Atlanta, is that if I'm asking them something, means I am, I'm bothering them. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm taking something away from them, which is obviously their time. And the Americans, they, val they value their time. Every second, it is, is extremely valuable to all of them. And uh, yes, they've given me answers. Mu banake answers diye, magar answers diye hain. So this is my observation of spending time with the, the locals in the, the United States of America. Do you see so, hiring for fourteen dollars an hour, Wendy's?
So today we are checking out uh, a home for sale. So this is known as a single family home. Okay, they have this uh, space here. They have the parking arrangement right here. I think you can fit three, four cars. And wait, this is the backyard. Living room. Okay, so today we'll be doing a little more exploring. So we will check out uh, this strip mall right behind me. We are at a strip mall. And there are uh, a few good stores here. Like you see right behind me, there's a store called uh, uh, Five Below. So everything you get inside that store is less than $5. It is called Five Below, so we will definitely check that out. And right next to it is a place called TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx is very similar to uh, Marshall and uh, the other place that we had gone to. So we will also check out uh, TJ Maxx. And plus there are other, other stores here. There's a Home Depot, massive Home Depot right behind me. I don't really need anything and I know what we get in Home Depot, but I will check out these stores that we don't have in uh, Canada and see what they have to offer. So this is the five below that we will check out uh, in about a few minutes from now. And we've also got this uh, TJ Maxx home goods. Right next to it, we've got rack room shoe, interiors. So we will just check out this entire plaza. You know, one thing that I've noticed it has, is that a lot of, lot of stores and a lot of restaurants, that there is, these are these four hiring signs. Like they are hiring people and at, at decent wages. Uh, and it is not at one store or two stores. I'd say at least... 70% of the stores that I've gone to, they are all hiring. So you see, this is another place that is uh, now hiring. We are hiring, join our team. This is called Battery Plus. So if you're looking for a job, you can join their team. So another place, uh, this is uh, Great Clips. It's a salon and here they are also hiring. Join the team. Text jobs to 98765. So we are right by uh, Five Below, and as you guys can see, uh, they are also hiring. Flexible schedules, build a career, fun and energetic environment, apply now at fivebelow.com forward slash jobs. So now we'll be checking out this place called Target. Target is very similar to Zeller's that we have in Canada. And here there's uh, Verizon.
So this is the bus stop, the Greyhound bus stop that I will be getting my bus uh, from in Atlanta. Uh, and uh, we are by Cobb Parkway. Um, you see right in front of us, uh, that is the uh, Cobb uh, bus station. And it is a massive station. Um, and uh, the bus... So USA was great. I had a great time in the United States of America. But I remember my home. I'm missing my parents. I'm missing home. And plus there are a lot of things that are waiting for me in uh, Canada. So this is it from uh, Georgia, Atlanta. Um, so I'll be taking the bus back. And uh, once I'm back in Canada, I will, uh, I will um, make a video of my experience with Greyhound. You know, by traveling, but uh, like traveling on a bus, I feel it is uh, underrated. And I feel that it is uh, highly judged. Do you know what I mean? Um, I had a fantastic experience with Greyhound. And for that matter, even when I was in Canada going from Montreal to Toronto, I loved it. Uh, but I'll make a detailed video once I get back to Canada.